What's up, everybody? Once again, Sean Taylor. And today, we're going over magnetic personal brands, how to create one. Most people can be magnetizing with their personality, have something that can increase their likability and people's attraction to them, but they hide it. Why? Well, because what is a unique pairing? A unique pairing is contradictory traits within one person. And these contradictory traits make people more attractive, but most people don't know this. People crave the complex. It naturally creates intrigue and mystery. That's what mysterious figures are always contradictory in some sort of fashion. Most people, they hide their contradictions because as much as we pretend to hate contradictions, we actually love it, but most people don't realize that. So let's hop in, and I'm because I'm going to prove it to you. Good looking and smart, right? This girl right here, beautiful, beautiful, but I mean, she's not real, but she has on glasses. So a pretty chick that's smart. I can tell you that I love beautiful women who aren't all wrapped up in their own beauty because that's just annoying as hell. And then you have Einstein, right? What if Einstein was some slow, good looking guy? And then also you have somebody like Einstein who's scientific and creative, right? That's that brainy, but he's also artsy. Then look at this guy, The Rock. Manly man with a soft side. When you see him with the baby, I know a lot of women looked at this picture and they were like, oh, on Instagram or wherever I got it from. Then classy but a freak. Look at Holly. I don't know if she's really a freak in real life, but trust me, it's every man's dream to have a classy woman and, and a freak, right? We all say lady in the streets, freak in the sheets. Intellectual thuggery of T.I.P. And here are a few more examples. Discipline but pet playful, cocky but really nice to people, rich and famous but down to earth, sensitive about their work but then objective, which many artists are, right? They can be very sensitive about their work, but they can be objective because they need to perfect it and they want to perfect it. So now that you understand exactly what this is, amplifying these traits is what helps you really create a mag magnetic brand as opposed to, like most people, hiding it. When you amplify it a lot, then you create something called polarization. Right, and most people understand and know these very polarizing figures, right? But there's a caveat because people will hate you, and then you'll have people who love you. You'll have those extremes. You won't be in the middle. So just be aware of that because this guy, like Grant Cardone, he said a good minute ago, um, probably like two years ago, he said, if I could get half of the country to hate me, I could be the president of the United States. I always loved that phrase, but now I truly, truly understand after Donald Trump became president. It just is what it is. He's a polarizing figure. He seems so contradictory and people hate him. He gets attention. Kanye West, people always say this guy is um, contradicting himself and he's extremely controversial, which is polarizing. He gets attention. Muhammad Ali, Malcolm X were very much in the same way like this. And then when you add some things from Muhammad Ali, just to get specific, he was disciplined but playful. Like I said, he was a very cocky person, always braggadocious, but he was super nice to people, right? And there's nothing more attractive to the asshole who's nice to you in a lot of ways. And then you have the rich and famous, but down to earth. Tupac was another example of this type of figure. Just do your research and really look at these people and, and look at how contradictory they were, right? Tupac was always for the upliftment of the black community, but then he had this thug life campaign. So just understand this polarization is, like I said, half and half. You have everybody really, really love you, or and then you have the other people who really, really hate you. This is a perfect example. Lil B being an um, all-time like as a rapper, which is what Spoken Reason said. I don't necessarily believe it, but if you look at this half and half, look at the likes and dislikes on this comment. It's literally being polarizing half and half people hate you or love you there is no in between so when it comes into amplifying it for real for real to, are you about that life because a lot of people really want to be liked especially artists even though most of them say i don't give a fuck most artists want to be liked right because people have to like your art just to make money and stuff just understand that you can't amplify your traits but if you go to a certain extent, you will become polarizing. But you don't have to go that far. You can just do it as much as you'd like to. But don't hide your contradictory traits. Use them to intrigue people and interest people. Once again, people create the complex. As much as we pretend to hate contradiction, we love it. The test of intelligence, the ability to hold two opposed ideas in the mind at the same time and still retain the ability to function. I love that quote. If you don't get it right off, do some time marinating on that thing. Other than that, you know what to do. Subscribe.